Hello and welcome to the RPG Academy Podcast Twitch channel. My name is Michael and we are back today for some more Michael Plays the Classics, uh, looking at Dragon Warrior 2 from the original Nintendo Entertainment System. It has been a week, a little over, since I have been on here. I, my apologies. I think I would mentioned last time that the upcoming week, which is now the previous week, was my kid's um, spring break. Didn't think that, hey, that means the kids are going to be home all week, not doing schoolwork. So they're going to be like doing things and in, in my way and, and busy. So there's just, it wasn't going to work out. So I just, I realized pretty early on, wasn't going to happen. Just didn't worry about it. And then yesterday, and I guess I can continue the stories as I'm actually playing the game. Um, so if anyone follows me on social media, probably is already aware I've been dealing with some kidney stone issues. It's a thing that's happened my pretty much my entire life it's a genetic apparently my sister and I both have had them off and on our entire life they're awful I hate them I wish that on no one even people I dislike greatly I don't want them to get kidney stones because they're awful uh so I'm dealing with them and I'm uh went and saw a specialist and they want to do uh, it's called lithotripsy and it's uh basically they use like ultrasound shock waves to blow them up like asteroids from the old video game to make them much smaller and easier to uh, pass because uh, the passing part is the part that really sucks, you know, with these. And uh, so they called me Monday morning and said, hey, we've got you scheduled for this lithotripsy treatment on Wednesday. However, before you can have a procedure at our hospital, you have to have a COVID test to prove that you don't have COVID. Um, so I'm like two and a half hours away from where the treatment is going to be done. Uh, it's a kind of a long story, but our insurance is kind of weird because we moved and my wife works remotely now. So our insurance is for basically for like a Cincinnati area hospital and we don't live near Cincinnati right now. So I either needed to literally get in my car within like 20 minutes and start driving there in order to make the window for them to give me the test. Or I could look around locally. Oops, getting so uh, ex emotional, or not emotional. Um, can't think of words. Words are hard. Expressive. That's what I was looking for that I'm throwing my uh, control around. Or anyway, I can look for a place local that will do it, um, and then I don't have to drive up there. So I decided to try to find a local place that would do it, and lo and behold, it was really hard to do that. Uh, one, because most places around here are doing what's called the rapid test, which gives you your results in like five minutes. Sounds great. Uh, apparently, it's not as reliable because the facility that's doing the procedure won't accept the rapid result test. It has to be what's called a PCR test. I don't know what PCR means, but it's a different type of test and takes 24 to 48 hours to get the results. So I wasn't able to find a place that could do a PCR test that had an opening on Monday. And there was actually a, another little wrinkle that I needed a an order from a doctor uh, that I needed the test. And we had a lot of trouble getting a hold of a doctor that would put the order in. Long story short, didn't get it. So I was basically spent all day Monday trying to um, get this test done. And didn't end up, okay, I'm, I'm lost. It's been a week now since I played this game and this is not, I didn't go to the right place. Uh, wow. Okay. So I'm confused. So is this where I needed to go? The place I was already at? It doesn't look, in fact, look like that is where I needed to go. Okay, well, that was a little diversion. That was completely unnecessary. My apologies. Uh, yes, but welcome, Sumkey. Thank you for joining. Uh, 
I said hello chat already, but thank you again. You're pretty much like the, the one diehard that I can almost always count on to be here. No pressure. If you, if you can't be here today, it won't, you know, whatever. But it's, it's nice to have somebody here uh, hanging out with me. Uh, it looks like there might be a couple other people as well. Um, at least looking at my stream manager. Welcome. Uh, lurking's fine. No need to chat. I, I enjoy it when people do, but there's absolutely no pressure ever. This is pretty much what the show is. I'm playing old, through old video games that I used to play as a kid and uh, mostly doing very poorly and getting lost. Uh, I don't promise that I will uh, make anyone any better at the game. I'm not going to give you any secrets. Uh, it's just me playing through games that I played as a kid. Uh, where's that silly jailer's key? There it is. Okay, so I think this is what I need to do here. Those step guards should allow me to walk on this without getting hurt. And weirdly, I think I have to cast it again here. And then this would take me here. Yep. Uh, ba -ba. So, and I've also been dealing with some pretty horrific internet issues. Uh, again, I know I've complained about that many times. I do apologize for sounding like a broken record, but my internet sucks. And uh, we were supposed to stream Shadow Spawns, which is the 13th Age actual play uh, RPG campaign that I run every other Tuesday. Uh, tonight being that Tuesday, two weeks ago, and the internet just would not handle it it was like trying to walk through molasses it just wasn't going to happen uh so we ended up having to cancel that like and we started the game and then the internet just poo pooed out um so we ended up canceling and since then we've got uh like a backup person who can actually host the stream if necessary so we're supposed to play tonight eight o'clock p.m eastern time if anyone is interested in watching that, 13th Age is, it's kind of like a cousin to D&D. &D. It's very much a D&D &D type game, Dungeons and Dragons, if you're not familiar, uh, which is, you know, it's the most well-known, probably the most popular uh, role-playing game out there. Uh, there's, you know, quite a few people that dislike it or dislike the fact that it's so popular. I particularly like it. I think it's a really fun game. It, it has provided me with some of the best moments of my life and the friendships. And, you know, I just, I, I have no problem with it. Anyway, uh, 13th Age is sort of like a kissing cousin to D&D. &D. It does a lot of the same things, but it has a few little unique twists on it, a few more sort of indie story game elements bolted on that I particularly enjoy. And uh, I'm really liking our Shadow Spawns games, I, and I would like more people to check those out and watch them with us. Uh, so if anyone is watching this now or in the future is so inclined, um, you know, find out our schedule, especially if it's in the future and you don't know when. All right, so apparently every time I come here, I have to do this. All righty. So the, we're on what's called the Road to Rhone, which is the last area of the game. And there is a pretty expansive dungeon in front of us, which is what I'm going into now. So I do, in fact, have handy-dandy graph paper. And we are going to try to map this, because last time I tried, I, I tried not to, and it uh, didn't go so well. So I do apologize that there's going to be a whole lot of me sort of... Looking down and trying to map. I'm not going to like actually map it um, to the squares. I think that would take too long. So I'm going to try to do it kind of freehand. Um, you know, and just like squiggly lines and straight lines and indicating where, uh, you know, stairs are. to see if that will suffice. At least that's the plan to start with. Huh. 
uh, so I think I've mentioned this before, I'm like level 25 with my main character from what I saw online uh, just sort of quickly is that I need to be at least level 30 to have a reasonable chance of actually getting, you know, through the game of the game and surviving. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm going on, like a baseline that that's where I need to be. I have no idea how long it's going to take us to get through this dungeon. More than likely, I'll get at least one or two of those levels, I would think, unless we just get ridiculously lucky. And uh, since I am planning on trying to map it out, I don't like I can't just pick away and you know hope to go. It's, I'm I'm going to take the time to map it. So again, just just so everybody understands where we're at. Okay, there's the stairs down. So these connect, and we have stairs up, and we have stairs down. And we have stairs up. And we have stairs down. Whew. Since they did not see me, I'm going to try to run. So we have stairs down, we have stairs up, we have stairs down, and then sort of this connects. Okay. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, but we're going to start just because I'm right here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. All right. Uh, at this point, I'm just going to try to run. Nope. So, Alani's probably dead. Yep, she's dead. Try to run again. There we go. All right, I think I have one of those Leaf of the World, so I can give that to her. That will bring her back. Then I can use her magic, heal all to heal herself. Okay, all right, so since we're right here, I'm gonna go and we'll just literally pick this one at random. So we're going to call this Stairway Up 1. All right. And then we're going to go to a different sheet of paper. And then we're going to try to start that map here. So we have Stairs Down 1, so that we know they connect. And we start off with a four-way intersection. So we're going to start by going down. Okay, and we have basically the same thing. Uh, let's try those stairs just to see if it takes us to the same place. Okay, nope. All right, so that we've already learned something. Okay, so looking back at our other map, Stairs down, so that is stair up two, and then stairs down two. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so now I know where I'm at, stairs down two. Let's go down again. And looky here, we're literally in the same place again. Stairs down. Let's check this one. Okay. 
So that's okay. So it's making us a loop. So good. So again, we're figuring things out. So I now know that that makes a loop. So instead of going uh, down, we're going to go right. Okay, so we're in a hallway. And that hallway is an intersection. I'm getting some strong Zelda vibes from this that there might be more loop-de-loops here that are just like mazes that are going to get me confused. And But uh, hopefully my map will help keep us from getting too confused. Yeah, so it seems like this just goes on and on and on. Oh no, it actually does have an ending. Uh, I'm gonna bet that if I go here, how much do we want to bet that this just uh, makes a loop? No worries, some of you, no worries whatsoever. Thanks for letting me know. Um, but, oh, come on, come on, come on. So I'm betting this is going to loop the other way as well. Um, so I'm actually guessing I'm right back to where I started. Sleep spells are bad. They, they, yeah. Again, we do not want to go to sleep. Going to sleep is bad. Sleep is definitely bad. Okay. Whew, seven. That's a lot of experience. I, I kind of didn't remember to check how much I need to level up. Uh, but I'm guessing it's a lot. All right. So we're going to do this again. Oh, no. Whoops, I want to check because I'm betting that takes me back there. Okay, yeah, it did. So, so it makes a loop. So then the question is, how many of these hallways are there? So there's one, two, three, four, five, five of them. And then it loops back. So number five, we will go up. Pardon me. Okay, that wasn't too bad, especially for almost 500 experience. That's not bad at all. All right, so we go up, and we go up again, and we're back in a hallway. So I have a sneaking suspicion that if I go here, and then I go there, I I'm gonna guess that uh, that that's also just a loop. Oh, 
Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Gotta watch those jigs. They uh, take away your magic points, and uh, I absolutely need those. I messed up there, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Yep, yeah, okay, there we go. All right, so once again, I wanna check this stairway. Well, eventually I will. Oh my gosh. Fight. Fight. Item go left. Thunder. Dark eye. So again, that should take me back to stairway one. And if so, then I know that that just makes a loop. Um, Again, I'm getting some Legend of Zelda vibes. Whether that's fair or not, it, I don't know which one of these stole from the other, but I'm going to guess that there's either some way that actually does go, like there's a certain um, pattern you have to go through, you know, go up one, then down one, then left one, then right one, uh, to actually get through there, or there's some other uh, way to, to navigate. But uh, for now, I'm going to try to avoid, again, you know, looking on the internet for the answer and see if we can actually figure it out. Uh, but I'm hoping it's just that there's a lot of ways that there's not like you have to go up and then left and then down and then right. That would be confusing. Uh, but it's just a bunch of knowing what is dead ends and what isn't. Okay, now actually, so, oh yeah, so that basically, I'm going to make some educated guesses here. And that, that. So essentially, uh, again, those, the hallways loop together as well. That's what we figured out. All right, so that should be stairway two. And if I go here, and then go up, and if I go up one more time, I'm gonna see if I can run. I don't really want to, because it's probably, okay, I got lucky there. Ooh. And then we go back here, and then we go up. Okay. All right. So I kind of feel like maybe that's sort of a, a dead end. It seems like all those do are looped together. Um, and I don't have a whole lot of life left. I'm going to have to leave soon. Um, so I'm going to try to go down here. Oh, that's different. Okay, so that is stairway down. Um, I'm gonna pick five, just to give it a number. That's kind of high. And then we're gonna go to a different piece of paper. Right, and then we have stairway up. 
I. And we have a chest. And then we have stairway up. A stairway up. So let's check this chest here. Hopefully the uh, Kale and Arthur, okay, well, Kale could do it by himself. Okay, good to know. Fight, fight, fight. So this will be stairway six, and that'll be stairway seven. I have a feeling this chest is going to be trapped, just because that seems, oh man, just getting there. This is my hork the hallway. Okay. Oh man. Every oh, every single step. This is like I spell Fire bang item. Whew, this is not good. Oh, no, that is not good at all. Bad, 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 bad. So you're probably back just in time to see me get murderated here. This is not good. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, it's not sized right. Um, I think as more messages come up, it'll push those further up uh, and you'll be able to see them. Um, again, this is the first time we've done this in a while and I didn't do a very good job of getting everything set back up. So, uh, heal more hearth. Let's see what this uh, chest is. Oh. Cool. I, that was the life crypt. Good to know. Alrighty. Um, so, I'm going to just cut bait here. I'm just gonna, not going to take any chances. 
and we're going to go back and heal up and then we will go back in and try that again we'll go that same way and then then we'll try to uh, navigate it a little bit better Jailer's key. Nope. Spell art step guard. So as far as my numbers, it looks like uh, the um, stream is doing well. I haven't had any issues yet with uh, drop frames or anything. So hopefully you are seeing that as well. Weird that that's still there this time, but it wasn't there last time. Oop, spell, stop, spell, spell. Oh well, got it off anyway. Okay. Okay, so we want to go back to the first level. And we want to go to what I labeled stairway down number five. Okay, Staff of Thunder does not work against the robots, apparently. They don't really do a whole lot of damage. I'm guessing they have a different attack. I'm, they might be the ones that dance the jig or something. Or, or they got multiple attacks, because they've... Yeah, they attack more than once, because that wasn't a whole lot of damage. I was like, there's got to be something going on with that. There we go, okay. All right, so there's that one. So we want to go here. That puts us back there. So let me go to that page. All right, and then we're just gonna go Whew, that's not good. Not good at all. Fight, spell, firebane, item. At least I got one of them taken out before uh, I get obliterated. Uh, 
Oh, I didn't realize that Elon was the only one up, or I would have done that differently. All right, everyone's asleep. That's great. Come on, at least let me get one of these taken care of. There we go, yay! All right, so now it's at least manageable. There we go, okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna get, oh, somebody's poison. All right, I'm gonna guess that this takes me somewhere, uh, yep. Okay, back to the first one. Stairway down 10. Okay. And. All right, so I'm going to guess that that's all there is in that room. I can verify that in a second if I survive this fight, that is. Uh, and those other stairways might just take me back around to places that I've been before. Okay, this is great. Yep, this is fantastic. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, there, thank you. More. All right, so if I go, th man, this, I'll tell you though, if I want to level up, this is definitely the floor to do it. There's tons of fights and they're all pretty rough. Okay, I'm guessing that's going to take me here. So that would be stair down nine, stair up nine, ten, ten. All right. And then we come down here. Fight, spell, fire pain, item. The attacks are okay. I mean, they're only doing, you know, the amount of damage they're doing and then poison me is not great, but it's not the end of the world. But putting me to sleep, that's the stuff that's just a backbreaker when it comes to this. Ah, didn't mean to hit that button.
Ooh. Oh, now everybody's asleep. Great. Okay. Well. Okay. Great. Okay. Didn't fall asleep that time. That's good. So that should take care of him. Okay. Good. Good to go. Good to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice. All right. So this this version of the fight has actually been okay. Didn't lose a lot of hit points. Didn't get poison. Call that a win. All right. Now I'm going to go down and go through this stairway eventually. And I have a feeling it's going to take me back around to uh, the other stair on the first floor. Which if it does, that's great, because that actually means that like a whole lot of that first level is uh, nonsense. I don't have to worry about it as far as figuring out my map and where I need to go. It, it limits my options a lot. And in this case, that's what I'm looking for. I, I want to try to narrow down the correct way to go as quickly as possible. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay. And that takes me, yep. So Stairway up six, goes to stairway down six. So it looks like the only way on this first level I need to worry about is the way I originally went. Oh, that's interesting. I fell through the floor back to that level, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, good to know. Oh, that was kind of useless. And we're all asleep again. Can I run? Please let me run. I didn't run. Oh, man. I get that's what this game is, but it is frustrating at times when you're just trying to, like, you know, figure something out, and you can't. And then you get into a fight like this that's just not really fun because it keeps putting you to sleep. Now they're all going to kill her. There we go. All right, because I would like to try to get at least one more thing done. There's a, oh, something's poison. So there's one more stairway up that I haven't yet gone on this floor, and it's right there. So let's see what it does. Okay, so this is new. So let's go over here. So you can probably hear my dogs going crazy downstairs. Okay. All right, 
So let's see if we can at least get somewhere through here before we have to bail out. Oh, I'm guessing these are going to be harder than the thing that I just fought. So let me try this. All right, well, that's helpful when those spells actually work. Oh, it casts Fireball. That's not great. Okay. Sounds like someone's downstairs, so. All right, let's see. All right, this goes to a stairway up. We'll call that 13. All right. Stair way down, 13. All right, and it doesn't go anywhere. I oh, wonder if there's a place to fall through here. Huh, interestingly, no. Okay. All right, so, oh, so now I fell through a hole. And it's back there, okay. All right, well, I think I'll call it there because if I got everything mapped out correctly, the only way to go is the way I started. Uh, and there's probably some mechanism there where I'm gonna have to figure out the right way to go, or there's a place where I fall through the hole and it actually takes me someplace I knew. Um, but I don't know yet. But I still think today was pretty productive. Uh, thank you, Sumkey, for hanging out. A couple other people looks like you jumped in and watched for a bit. Thank you as well. Uh, and hopefully the plan is to get back to doing this regularly. I know I say that all the time and I never follow through and I apologize, but that's the goal. So I'm going to go ahead and end things here and I'll do the wrap up and save my progress. And then uh, I'll see you guys later. So thanks and bye-bye. Uh,